Hey everybody, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching today for another day of counting calories on my fitness pal. Um, today is Tuesday. Let's see if I can get the date right. I'm always messing it up. Okay, I'm looking at the computer. <laughs> today is January 31st. It's the last day of January. Um, and me and Lisa are eating breakfast and I have an update, you guys. I think I'm allergic to the gym. Um, you guys all have been following my saga with the hives. I broke out. I thought it was the sports bra I was using because after I worked out, after using the sports bra, I had hives all over my chest. Um, yeah, so it went away after I took the steroids that I was prescribed. And um, yesterday was the first time that I have been to the gym since... I was done with the steroid pack and I go to the gym. I wasn't even thinking about that because I had been feeling so much better. I had a great day. I, you know, I felt fine all day. I'll go to the gym. I had a great workout. I come home within a few hours. I have hives again, all down my back, the very center of my back and my chest. I don't know if you can tell it's very speckledy, almost like a sunburn. Um, I think I'm allergic to, sorry. I think I'm allergic to the gym. It's something they're using. It's those little spray bottles of cleaner. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, this Kindle is so loud. Go listen. I'm sorry, guys. Ah. Okay. Um, so, I made an appointment with a doctor. Last time I just went to the CVS Minute Clinic, but I just want to talk to an actual doctor's office, and we need to get set up with one anyway. Um, and so... I'm going to go in at 10 and have an appointment and hopefully they can prescribe something that'll make this go away. But then I'm going to have to just be very careful at the gym The the spray bottles of cleaner, I think is what's doing it because I've been doing the circuit a lot and those people like spray down the machines, like nobody's business. And then I set my back against it and I was wearing a really thin like tank top. So I'm wondering if the spray just got kind of got through the shirt. My the very center of my back is broken out um, with these big hives. So yeah, that's gonna have to change. I don't want to stop going to the gym, but this is just miserable. I've taken Benadryl. I put cortisone cream on it. Um, I've done everything I know to do. It doesn't touch these things. The only thing that made it better was the steroids. So. I am just really nervous about being on them again because I'm really afraid that it's going to affect my weight loss, not only this week, but then if I'm on them some more, but I have to do what they think I need to do to, you know, and the weight loss will come. But anyway, that's just a little update of my drama. <laughs> I'm allergic to the gym. Um, so I'll let you know what the doctor says and hopefully he can help. So I have a cup of coffee here with two tablespoons of hazelnut creamer. That's 40 calories. I have an oat fit oatmeal. That's 100 calories. And I cooked it with a half, no, a quarter cup of blueberries. And I like to cook it together. Kelly and Kim are the ones that gave me that idea. Or I forget. One of them said they did it this way and one of them said they didn't. I think Kim is the one that did it. I'm not sure. Anyway that you cook it, like you put them, you mix it up and then you put it all in the microwave together and it makes them so good. So the blueberries are 20 calories, the oat fit oatmeal is 100, the coffee is 40, it's 160 for everything. I'm gonna eat this breakfast, we gotta get ready to go, we gotta leave here in an hour, so. I'll let you know what the, doc the doctor says, you guys, fingers crossed. Hey everybody, I'm just getting done with the doctor, by the way, I found the most amazing doctor, he is amazing. Um, I'm so glad I came here. God totally led me to the right place. So I'm not allergic to the gym. It is not a contact allergy. I have hay fever. Um, crazy. It's not dangerous, but it, unless like it can call, I mean, it can be dangerous if it leads to like shortness of breath and stuff like that. But I haven't had anything. And he said in all of his years, he's never seen it develop into that. But as I'm sitting there waiting for the doctor, my chest starts breaking out. You see this? I have I have these marks all over me, all down my stomach, all down my back. I'm just so thankful I came to the doctor because as I was sitting there, it got worse and worse. So um, he said that it can be kind of a pain in the butt to get rid of. Um, basically, I'm going to be on a bunch of steroids. I'm going to be on antihistamines. I'm going to be on Zantac, which is also a histamine blocker. Um, 
and he said it might take several rounds of steroids. We just it could and it could last for weeks. It could last for up to a month. And I've already been dealing with it for weeks. So I'm just glad it's nothing serious. And he 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 started scratching on, on my belly and it immediately whelped up. And he said it's definitely hay fever. He said wherever your clothes it. touch, and that's why I thought it was my bra, because like where my bra is, it's it's, it's whelped up. Um he said wherever your clothes touch, it's gonna whelp up. If you scratch, it's gonna whelp up. So I'm back on steroids. He said the minute clinic, um, they gave me steroids and that helped. So they were on the right track, but they didn't give me enough to make it go away. And, um, he said, I'm actually the second person today he's seen with it, which is just crazy to me. But anyway, so I'm, at least I'm not allergic to the gym, but I probably need to not, he said, anytime I get hot, it can make it worse. Um, anyway, so I'm probably going to wait till this dies down to go back to the gym. But I'm going to continue on my diet. I know that the steroids can make it really rough to lose weight. But all I can do is what I can do. So anyway, I am going to go. I'll show you lunch when I have it. It's been a crazy morning. I feel like my makeup is smeared. I have not been crying. Um, anyway, we met the sweetest little doctor. And Lucy did great. We were in there for like an hour. So anyway, I'll see you guys back at lunch. I to show you. It's definitely not healthy. Um, I am on a ton of medicine. I feel like complete crap. And as I was coming back from the pharmacy, I saw Captain D's, and I have not had Captain D's ever since we moved back into town, and this is like one of my favorite things. So I got some, I don't know how much of it I'll eat, I'm not super hungry, but I feel like I need something on my stomach. Um, Nate loves Captain D's, and so I got some extra because I thought maybe he could have some too. It's kind of a mess. Um, I got some fish, a couple of hush puppies, some french fries, and that's mac and cheese. So I'm going to enjoy that and I'm trying to feel better. We'll talk to you later. I know I did the amount of calories, by the way. I'm going to try to look up what I eat and just track it. Even if it's high, I'm still going to track it. So I'll see you back Hey, later. everybody. So this is slowly turning into a non-food vlog. And it's just a vlog <laughs> um, because I'm not counting today. I am not counting today. I'm hot double medicine. David had told me, I'll get Nate, you go home, take your steroids, because they gave me a huge mega dose today. And um, he said, take the Benadryl. The doctor, I don't know how much I said, I can't even remember how much I told you guys, but the doctor said I could either take Benadryl or Zyrtec, but he would recommend Zyr uh, Benadryl as long as I could stand it, because it was a lot stronger than Zyrtec to help with a rash. So Dave said, I'll get Nate, you just go home and rest. Well, I took the Benadryl and I laid down. I was kind of dozing and the school called and said Nate was throwing up and di having diarrhea. So Dave went and got him early. He's thrown up several times. I do not feel good. I am so tired, but I'm trying to help David because we're wash having to wash everything and keep him happy. I'm really concerned about him getting dehydrated. So even if he's throwing up, I'm still kind of get encouraging him to sip. Um, we had a little bit of Sprite, but I sent David for Pedialyte, and, oh, sorry, Elsa, um, I sent David for Pedialyte and some crackers, if you can tolerate it, and then some more Sprite, just to see if he can keep anything down. I would rather him throw it up than get dehydrated, so as long as he's drinking, some of it is getting through to him, so. I know what's going on with Layla. Anyway. That's the update. I feel like the steroids are sort of slowly helping on my rash. It's bad, y'all. Um, just say a prayer for us. I'm really hoping Lucy doesn't get this and none of us get this because he's sick. Like, David carried him in and he was moaning. So, um, bless his heart. He's happy, though. He's got his Kindle. He's got his headphones, which he loves. So he's pretty happy, all things considered. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys back later and give you an update for the end of the night. Hey everybody, it is the end of the night. I know this video started out as a what I ate today and it slowly turned into just a vlog because I haven't tracked anything except for breakfast because I do not feel good. Um, Nate is really, really sick. Um, he keeps having throwing up and diarrhea and he's not wanting to drink a whole lot. So we're kind of forcing him because I don't want him to get dehydrated. He's having really bad stomach cramps and he'll be like screaming and he's just been miserable. So we finally got him to sleep. Hope that he can sleep all night. David's going to sleep in there with him to kind of help watch. I'm still on lots of medicines that pretty much knock me out. But I have not been able to rest today. 
I feel like I'm setting my teeth. I've not been able to rest today at all because I've been trying to help take care of him. So I'm hoping tomorrow's a better day. For dinner, I had, there's the other half of it. We had a gift card for Subway, and so Dave went and got us subs. They have like a special going on right now. Any sub is any foot long is six bucks, which is a really great deal. Um, so I just got a turkey sub with cheese, lettuce, pickles, a little bit of olive oil, and some oregano. That's my favorite way to eat it. Guys, I got like addicted to the oregano that Jersey Mike's puts on their sandwiches. I don't know what it is, but it adds a really nice, really nice flavor. So I had that. I don't even know how many calories it was. I'm just not going to count. I'm hoping to start over tomorrow with the counting and um, the steroids that I'm taking now. I don't know if I said this earlier. It's a much bigger dose. Instead of four milligram tablets, it's 20 milligram tablets, and it makes me feel really hot <laughs> and anxious. Um, and it, then taking it with a Benadryl that knocks me out. It's just weird. It's really a weird combination. So anyway, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to hope and pray that everybody stays healthy through the night and we don't have any more throwing up at least through the night. So I hope you all like this video. I know it's a little bit different than what I normally do, but I have been talking about this rash to you guys for weeks. So I thought you might want to kind of know the results of it and, um, it kind of turned into a whole sick day vlog. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. I think I'm at 15 now. And I have decided, um, FYI, you'll be getting more details, but I am going to do a giveaway when I reach 1,000. So make sure you're subscribed so you can be a part of the giveaway. More information is coming. I'll see you guys all tomorrow.